there's the whole thing of a ring should be three months worth of salary. Moissanite is often 90% of the price that you can get for a diamond. I can wear my ring doing the dishes. I wear it in the shower. I've worn it to sleep. This is so bad, but I did lose my ring before I even got married, which is... Hello, I'm Ali Padrone. Welcome to my home. I'm so happy that you're here. Today, I'm gonna be sharing a bit more about my Moissanite ring and why I love it so much, why I think that it's a great choice for you. I'm gonna do a comparison of Moissanite to Diamond. And if you're on the fence a little bit about it or you're considering Moissanite, I hope that I can solidify it for you. So let's get into it. Now, honey, if you really want a diamond ring, just get a diamond ring. If that's really what you want deep, deep down. Everybody has their own personal preferences and tastes and diamonds are not bad. Diamonds are beautiful, they're classic. But here is why I like Moissanites a bit better. Now, a comparison between a Moissanite and diamond, you're probably gonna see these in most videos, so I'm just gonna go over it really quickly. A diamond and a Moissanite are made of two different types of materials. Diamonds are often either mined or they're created in a lab, and Moissanites are always lab created. So you're always going to be able to source their origin back to where it was made. And that leads into sustainability because diamonds can often be mined from more torn countries. They can be sourced in an unethical manner. Please do your own research on that um, if you are wanting to look into that further. But a big reason why people choose moissanite is for sustainability. But perhaps not the biggest reason. I have to say the biggest reason is likely going to be price because the difference is so extreme. With diamond versus moissanite, moissanite is often 90% of the price that you can get for a diamond, which is a huge difference. Again, they are two completely different stones, but getting a moissanite doesn't necessarily mean you're compromising on the look of the stone or its quality because diamonds, while they are a 10 on the Mohs scale of hardness, I don't know how to pronounce that, but on the hardness scale, diamonds are a 10, which I think is as high as you can go. But for Moissanites, they're 9.25 to a 9.5, so they're very close to a diamond. And so you're really not compromising too much when it comes to its resilience and durability. I'm no expert, I am no ge geminologist. Gemin I am a Gemini actually, but... <laughs> Um, I'm no expert, but based upon my research, this is what I have found. So price, sustainability, and the look of the stone is the main reasons why people get moissanite compared to a diamond. And those are the main reasons for me as well. I'm gonna include a few side-to-side -side pictures of a moissanite to diamond, just so you can kind of see what I'm talking about in terms of their looks. Um, I'm sure you've already seen pictures before, but moissanites actually tend to have a more rainbowy sparkle, which seems to be popular because I went ring shopping looking with my really close friend a few months ago, and in the store, they had posters of like, oh, diamonds that have this rainbow effect. But that's what moissanites have naturally, is that rainbow effect. So if that's something that you like, then moissanites really have a pretty rainbow kind of refraction to them. First, I went to a ring store, and I highly recommend that if you're just checking out different rings and trying to figure out what your style is. I went to a Jared, and you can go to just any popular ring store and try on different rings, try on different band colors, sizes, try on different stones, the oval shape, the pear shape, the cushion shape cushion shape and yeah just see what you like see what kind of stones or ring styles best suit your preferences and your finger and that's what I did so I went to the store and I knew exactly the type of look I wanted I wanted an oval solitaire 14k yellow gold 
Van Ring. So then I just did some research on Moissanite companies, and I found Moissanite Co. to be a pretty reputable source. So I would recommend it. They did a really great job with my ring. I know you can buy Moissanite rings pretty easily on Etsy, so that's another option, but I wanted to have a little bit more of a guarantee when it came to the quality and the design and manufacturing of the ring. So I went with Moissanite Co. as a more reputable source, in my opinion. I just felt like their website was really trustworthy and their warranty and all that information. So I will link Moissanite Co. down below. And I'll also link a few other resources that I think can be reputable places to buy a Moissanite ring from. Uh, please do your own research, but these are a few options for you to look into. With Moissanite Co., it was a really simple process to buying the ring. My center stone that I chose was oval and colorless. 2.5 carats or 10 by 7 millimeters. And then for my metal type, I chose a 14K yellow gold band and the band's thickness is 1.5 millimeters. And I chose 14K yellow gold because I like the look of yellow gold when it's 14K a bit better than 18K. 18K is a bit more yellowy and you would think the higher the number, the better it is. Not necessarily. Again, it's also a matter of preference, but 14K gold is going to be a bit more durable because it has less content of gold and the combination of metals with the gold makes it stronger compared to 18K, which has more content of gold compared to other metals. So it's going to be a little bit more malleable. So something to consider when you're choosing your band as well. So for my personal experience, those three factors of price, sustainability, and the look of the ring were really important to me when considering what I wanted for my engagement ring. And my husband was so sweet in that I didn't really want to be surprised. I was just like, I want to tell you what I want and then you just buy it. <laughs> and so that's essentially what happened. I gave him all the specs. I told him exactly what measurements, um, what type of band, what type of this. I gave him the listing. I was like, here. And then he took it and then he paid for it. So <laughs> that's how we did it. Um, but going into those three categories of price, first of all, $1,000 is expensive. Like, that's a lot of money, just speaking, but it's not nearly as expensive as what it had been for a comparable diamond ring. The size stone that I chose, um, the design is really simple because it's a solitaire, and a solitaire just means you just have the one center stone, so you don't have those little side stones or anything. Yeah, just the size of the big stone in the middle that I wanted uh, would be super expensive for a diamond. I would say... Mm, we're talking 10,000 or more. So yes, 1,000 is a lot more affordable than that. There's the whole thing of a ring should be three months worth of salary. And in principle, I get the idea of a man working hard in order to get a really important gift for his soon-to-be wife. I think that's a really sweet and thoughtful kind of thing, but it seems more like the gesture has now become a societal pressure than it is like, oh wow, he worked so hard to get this gift for his wife or fiance. And for me, it's like, I would rather that money go into the wedding budget or go into our future home. There's a lot of other things that that money could be used for. I don't want like a $20 ring and if people want that by all means like you do you and that's amazing if you just want like a really cheap ring because it's just a ring like it's just a symbol of your guys's love it's not the pinnacle of your marriage is put upon this ring like your marriage is built upon your relationship your communication your friendship with each other and not a piece of jewelry so Thinking about it as just a ring kind of eased 
my pressure when it came to getting like the perfect engagement ring that I'm gonna wear for the rest of my life. Like, yes, I'm gonna wear it for the rest of my life or I intend to. And I love it so much. I'll wear it for the rest of my life. I feel like it's a really timeless style and I, I just really, really like it. But if I lose it, and y'all, let me tell you, this is so bad, but I did lose my ring before I even got married, which is, ugh, I can't believe myself, but here's the story, okay? Hold on, I need to get a prop for this. I need my water bottle, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So here's a water bottle. It's not the one that I had at the time. But essentially, I was doing the dishes, okay? And sometimes I wear my ring doing the dishes. I can wear my ring doing the dishes. I wear it in the shower. I've worn it to sleep, like, and it's very comfortable on me. So that's another thing is it's totally fine to wear your, your moissanite in all those areas. Will it, like, wear and tear? I don't think so. Or at least it hasn't so far. Granted, I haven't had it that long, but it's a 9.25. It's a 9.5 on the hardness scale, so... I'm not like hammering the wall with my ring. I'm just doing the dishes. In fact, I think it keeps it clean, but that's just my preference. Anyways, the story is, let me take off my ring. One sec. Okay, so I was doing the dishes and I had my ring on my water bottle and I had another ring, this, this little like wavy guy ring that I really like. So I had it on my water bottle, boop, like that. And this is during the time where I was engaged. So I was over at my fiance's place and I was doing the dishes and then I left my rings on the straw of my water bottle and it was time to leave and I totally forgot that I left it on my freaking water bottle. So I'm walking to my car like la 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 with my water bottle and my rings on top of it. I get into his car because he's going to drive me to my car, which is parked farther away. So I put the bottle in the cup holder. Still don't remember that I'm not wearing my rings. I take the water bottle. I go. This is making me kind of anxious as I do this. I take the water bottle and I go sit down in my car, put it in the cup holder this whole time, y'all not knowing if my ring is still on the straw of the water bottle. And guess what? I'm driving home. Well, here we go. I'm driving home. My hands are on the steering wheel. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. My ring is gone. <laughs> I look at my water bottle. Boom. There's no rings on the water bottle. And I'm like, I can't believe myself. And so, of course, I pull over safely and then I'm looking around my car and the thought that came into my mind was, this is terrible. I can't believe I did this to myself. But another thought came into my mind and it was, okay, Allison, it's just a ring. It's a thousand dollar ring and that hurts. Ow, losing a thousand dollars. But... It would have hurt more if it were $10,000, you know what I'm saying? Like, $1,000 hurts, but it's, it's more manageable of a loss compared to thousands and thousands of dollars in one little ring. So now I haven't lost my ring. I've kept it on me most of the time, and now I have designated places for where I put it, so I'm a lot better now. But yeah, I did lose the wavy ring. So... My fiance found the ring in his car, like on the seat. It was just there. And thankfully he texted me so I wasn't living in anxiety for very long. But he texted me and I was like, oh, God is good to me. Goodness, he spared me. <laughs> so this is my original engagement ring. Thank the Lord. And this is a replacement ring and a good lesson for don't put my rings on my water bottle straw. So yeah, it's just a ring. It's an important ring. It should be a very special ring and it should be what you want. Or if you're down for surprises, that's cool too. But in the end, it's just a thing. Like you are so much more valuable than a ring. Your relationship with your partner is so much more valuable than a ring. The ring doesn't define your relationship. So I just want you to 
<sighs> like, don't put so much pressure on yourself for this ring. I hope you get the one that you want, though. I hope that you really love it. I hope that you wear it all the time and you remember the love that you have with your partner. And yeah, I hope it's a really special moment of being engaged, being married, doing life with your best friend. And I'm really excited for you. If you're watching this video, interested in getting a ring soon, or if you are engaged, or if you're totally single and chilling and you just want to watch this video for fun i'm so glad you're here and i hope you enjoyed the video i think that's all i have to say here's my ring i'll just show it on this camera i will include hee <laughs> hee so yes this is the ring i love it so much but yes I will include details in the description and all that. Thank you so much for coming over. I hope this was helpful and encouraging. And if you have any feedback or if you got a Moines Night Ring, please feel free to let me know in the comments. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye!